This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI women's basketball team had very high hopes heading into the season as they returned every player from last year's squad that contended for the conference title. Picked to finish second in the Valley this year, the Panthers have had to deal with a ton of adversity as a number of key players have suffered injuries, including first-team all-conference honoree Jen Keidel. There's no quit in the Panthers as they're off to a red-hot start in MVC play. You know, when, when Jen went down, um, we was really faced with one or two decisions, faith or fear, uh, and we chose faith. And it has shown in how they've played and how they play together. Um, they've really locked into what we do scouting report wise. Uh, they come to practice, they work extremely hard. Um, we understand it's very early. Uh, we still can get a lot better. We will continue to get better. Uh, but the way this team is playing right now, um, both the offense and the defense, you can't help but be excited that the best is yet to come. You know, right now it's, it's honestly, it's, it's everyone. And, and I say that um, smiling because I think what has started to emerge with this team is the balance. Um, anyone on any given day uh, can step up. Um, they're extremely unselfish, like I said. They love sharing the basketball. They don't care who gets the credit. Um, it, it's about us getting it done as one on both sides of the floor. Uh, and they understand that and they appreciate the opportunity um, to play with each other. Woo, Collectively, I, I wouldn't trade them for anybody in the world. I, I love this group. Uh, I love the effort that they bring us. Um, I don't worry about them on the floor. They know exactly what our program's about um, and they do a very good job of, of being examples um, for everyone who is watching and wonder what is you and I women's basketball about both on and off the floor. Um, she's starting for us, she's providing great minutes, and as she continues to learn the pace of the game, because right now Ellie only goes one speed and it's 100 miles an hour, and I'd rather have to, to slow her down and speed her up. But as she continues to learn uh, to control her speed, she's going to be fantastic. We're doing a really good job of sharing the basketball offensively. You know, we've talked a lot about um, sometimes you might have a good shot, but you can pass that up for a great shot. And it's an extremely unselfish team, but we're doing a really good job of, of making the extra pass. It's been very, very vital. Um, you know, and we have several different kids that are shooting it extremely well. Obviously, Amber Sorensen, I think she had seven at Loyola and then had five uh, last week. But Madison Weekly shooting it really well. Um, Brittany Donaldson came in um, off the bench in her first action and went four for six. Uh, Brooke Brown is shooting it well. So what we have found that at any given night, any one kid could step up. We're getting better defensively. Uh, we're starting to really lock into our scouting report uh, details. Uh, we're doing a very good job of, of helping the helper, is what we like to call it. And we're rebounding the basketball. I don't know that Alyssa Johnson has gotten enough credit for how well she's rebounding for us. And also Amber Sorensen. But we've also told our guards, everybody has to rebound. Everybody has to do a, do a little bit more. And they, they have really um, taken that to heart and have done a very good job. <laughs>